Hi guys and welcome back. In this video we're going to be working with opening files and it's going to be really easy because all we have to do is ask the user which file they want to open using another dialogue like the one we've seen already, get the contents and then create a new file and put those contents in it. Let's get started by creating our open file. So we'll do open file here and then we're going to ask for a file path. So we'll say file path equal file dialog and now we're gonna say ask open file name then we will do as we did before we will extract the file name from the path that this gives you so we will do file name equal os path base name file path next up we're gonna open the file with open file path and r as file we will then get the content which is file.read and this reads the entire file. Now if you have extremely long files this could present a bit of a bottleneck but we're not going to worry about that in this course. Then we will add an accept as usual for attribute error and file not found error so in case that something does fail or we close the dialog then we will say print open operation cancelled and we will return so that we don't execute this next piece of code which is create file but now we're going to pass in the content and the file name into create file let's go back up here to create file and we will have a content of empty string and a title of untitled then here we will replace text equal untitled by title and we're also going to insert the text in a text area. What we'll do is a text area dot insert and where do we want to insert the text? That is the first thing that this method requires and we're going to use the special place end which will insert the text at the end or at the very last character currently in the text area. Because this text area is empty, we just created it, this is going to essentially be the start as well. And then the content that we want to insert. All right, so this is how you open a file using our editor. Very straightforward. Once again, ask for the file, get the file name so that you can then name the tab that, read the file contents, and then create the file, making sure to pass in the contents of the file and the title. By default, when we create a file such as what we do down here, we want the content and the title to be these default values. So empty content and untitled. That's why we're making sure that these have defaults so that when you do insert the content, it is gonna be empty. And when you do add the tab, it is gonna be untitled unless we specify otherwise. Finally, the last thing that we want to add is of course a way to call this function. As well as new and the save, we wanna add in open. So we will do file menu dot add command label is going to be open dot 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 as is usual and the command is going to be open file making sure to not call it let's run the app and now we're going to open this file called test.txt that we made earlier and there you have test.txt now notice that you have still an untitled tab at the start this is a problem that we're not going to concern ourselves too much with right now but you could check to see if the tab that is currently selected when you open a new one is empty. And if it is, then you can possibly close it and instead create this new one. But as I said, we're not gonna do that in this course, just a separate problem that you can fix if you'd like. Thanks for joining me in this video. I hope you've learned something and I'll see you in the next one.